Good morning. So we're starting our day here in Innsbruck with going to the Alpine Zoo and then taking a gondola to the top of Innsbruck, which is just right up there. We're here in their main square and they have all these eggs around everywhere that you can look at and take pictures with. It's like a little Easter egg hunt. So it's so fun. This is a really cute city. We found a cute little market. I think it's their Easter market here. This building here is called the Golden Roof. It's the symbol of Innsbruck. It's now a museum. I think they also call it the Emperor's House. To get to the Alpine Zoo, we take the Hungerbird Funicular. We made it to the Alpine Zoo. It is um, pretty much a zoo about all the alpine animals. It's pretty large and it's very uphill. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a little bit of a workout. Mama, what is it? The zoo has a little bouncy house and Griffin's been jumping on it for a good 10 minutes. But it's nice just to have a little break and just let him play and us get a breather from climbing all the hills. Woo! Jeez. Griffin's getting trained. What are they called? Say ibex. Can I was ibex. I was, I was the mommy daddy. You see the mommy daddy goat? What's ibex? We're here looking at all the snakes. I hate snakes. So they're, they're not my favorite at all. Two. Two? Yeah. This zoo has been really cool. It's very different from a zoo back home because there isn't any elephants or tigers. It's all alpine animals, but it's really cool to see all the different animals. And it's very busy today which we were shocked because it's Monday, but we think maybe people are still on vacation, I guess, from Easter, or they just had the day off. We're here at the Hungerberg Station. We're gonna take the gondola up to the next stop, which is called, say Grube? So we're gonna stop at that first stop to get some lunch, and then we're gonna head to the very top. We're here eating at the restaurant at the Sea 
It's a typical restaurant here. I'm gonna get the curry worst, and Lucas is getting, he's getting the render strife and stroganoff. So, it should be really tasty. The view from this restaurant is spectacular. We made it to the top. The next car leaves in about 11 minutes, so we don't really have much time to get to explore, but man, look at that view. You can go to that very top part with the cross. We don't have the time, but Lucas is gonna go as high as he can. This is about the same thing that happened to us when we went to the Zook Spitz. We only really had about 10 minutes to be up there, but it was so cold up there that we didn't really want to be up there much longer. Kind of bummed we don't get to go to the top up there, but that just means we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna head back down and look who fell asleep. He's just so tired. We just finished doing the top of Innsbruck. Very good, wasn't as cold as we thought. Now we're getting on the tram to take us back down to the city of Innsbruck. After we did the on top of Innsbruck, we Mommy. headed back here. Mommy? Yes. Um, um, okay. Yeah, going to the playground. And we just kind of hung out in the hotel. Lucas left to go get some shots of a really famous area no, no. here no, in Innsbruck. No. We're gonna go meet him and get some dinner because he said that there's some food trucks there and we're gonna try and go to a park for a playground. Well, we got here too late. The trucks were closing up. But we're gonna get some sweet potato fries. Since we had such a late lunch up on the mountain, we're just gonna have a light dinner and might just eat gelato for dinner. We walked over here to this park that we wanted to take Griffin to the but it has a gate and they locked it. But we're walking around this little park outside of the gate and it's so quaint. And we're gonna go get some gelato. We're ending our day here in Innsbruck with our favorite thing, gelato. Um, we had an awesome day exploring Innsbruck, doing the zoo and going on top of the mountain. And we're really excited to come back here sometime just to do more things like hiking. So this has been a success. Thanks for watching and we will see you next. We're gonna check out the new Schwanstein castle. I know we just said goodbye, but we just really want to talk about how good this gelato is. Yeah, this is the best gelato we've had here. It's called Europe. Thomas Selly. Sorry, Griffin about fell. Um, it is the the best gelato we've had. Absolutely, it's the very best. Creamy. Mm. It's not icy. No, it it tastes pretty much just like soft serve ice cream. Well, well, I think it's more more rich. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's it's the best. Prost. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.